talking about superhero hands. I'm talking about hands that are deeply connected to my center, deeply connected to my strength. I don't want hands that are trying to work independently, that are trying to just do all this heavy lifting on their own. I want hands that become like this artistic expression, this powerful superhero expression of everything that I am. So instead of hands that just kind of like flop around, it's hands that move as an expression and can hold as a powerful expression of commitment, of strength, of play, of creativity, of all of those things. But it all comes from here, yeah? So we mapped out the hands. I drew this on my hand a little while ago for you guys, but I'll show it again. So there's a couple of different fat groups, fat triangles of muscle. There's one here on the thumb side and there's one here on the pinky side. So the one on the thumb side, the thenar group, this is in our group, and then there's another little adductor here, but they kind of group together uh, to work the thumb. Now, these thumb muscles, these thenar groups, actually works through the inside of the arm and connects deeply into the pec minor. And these are muscles that work together as a chain. The brain doesn't even like uh, realize that they're individual muscles. The brain works them together in a balanced system. Those are the ones that a lot of times we overuse, especially when we kind of set out, you know, anchor through the index finger knuckle, press down through the inner edge of the hand. A lot of times what you'll see is this internal rotation of the arm. And yeah, we can externally rotate the upper arm to balance out of that, but then you're bringing some torque to the elbow. We're kind of being disconnected there. We're putting too much weight on the inner edge of the hand. So then the fingers, which you want to be more dynamic, the fingers end up having to hold statically. So we can't use them for like little micro movements, like little playful things that we can express with our hands. So on the other side, you'll see this little dot that I drew here. You'll feel like a little bony protrusion there. That's the pissy form. I use that just because it sounds kind of cute and cool and it's easy to remember. If you go above the pissy form, that's the hypothenar group or the hypothenar group. Now, this group of muscles is connected to the deep back arm line. So that line of muscles actually goes down the back of the arm and connects into like the thick musculature right at our mid backs. Those are the muscles that a lot of times we underuse and it makes sense why we talk about underusing it when we put more focus. I understand the reason why, you know, between the two bones of the arms, the bone on the pinky side of the arm is much smaller. It seems like it's, it's not as able to weight bear, but we are a tensegrity system, not really a compression system. So in a tensegrity system, we're not really weight bearing on this bone at all. This bone becomes a spacer for the soft tissue. So we want the balance of the inside and the outside of the arm. So that's what the superhero hand is. We're going to put more uh, awareness, more concern, more weight on this part to balance the inner and outer arm line. So then we really have superhero hands. Yeah. This is what we're going to do. We're going to come to our hands and knees. And remember, this all comes first principle is this inner fullness, this inner bigness, this integrity and fullness of heart. So expand your rib cage on all sides. Take your hands maybe slightly wider than your shoulders. Take a big breath, widen through your ribs and fill up the back of your heart. Don't use your hands to collapse your chest to do this. Use your breath, use the diaphragm and get big. Get big through your chest, get big through your heart. Turn your hands up. Bend your elbows a little bit, and then I want you to place that little ledge right above the pissy form. I want that to be the part of your hand that you put down first. Keep that part down, soften your elbows out to the sides. Again, full ribs, and then keep the rest of your hand soft, that part of your arm heavy. And then lean forward and see if you can find the place where you can catch the strength of your hands right into your mid back. So breathe. You can even get this a little bit more by pressing the pissy forms gently down and away from each other as you widen through the ribs and then lean forward. And imagine you can almost press down from your upper back gently down to the pussy form. Then turn your hands up. And then I want you to shoot, a, like imagine you have Spider-Man hands and you're trying to shoot a spider web. Right from the pissy form, out through your index finger knuckles straight ahead. So pissy forms down, pissy form ledge down, wide ribs, and then from your pissy form, spider web out through your index finger knuckles, and then base of the pinky, base of the thumb come down next. Take a breath, soften the elbows, widen through the ribs, see if you can find that place. You might have to lift up a little bit, aim this a little bit, it should feel steady. 
Lift your knees slightly. Don't be in such a hurry to drop your chest. Keep your heart parallel to the floor. That's going to give you more access to the strength of your hands through your upper back. Keep that widen through your ribs. And then carefully, without dropping your heart, start to lengthen from your upper back and from your inner arms at the same time. Hold the softness in your elbow. And you can play here. You can shift a little bit more weight to your right hand. Soft elbow. You should feel your right neck, right trap. It should be soft. Left hand, pissy form. Index finger web, base of pinky, base of thumb. Soften the elbow. Soften the neck. Should be able to hold this. If you look at me from the front, my hands should not be straight ahead. I want them to be turned out a good amount. So I have a strong connection from my upper back, down the back arm line, and a strong connection from my inner shoulder down the front. I'm okay with the inner edge of your hand lifting as long as the fingers are grasping. You can even imagine you're trying to push these two groups of muscles towards your fingers and trying to drag your fingers towards those two groups of muscles. So you have a balanced inner and outer hand, inner and outer arm. Then again here, pissy form. Index finger web. Base of pinky, base of thumb. Wide through the ribs, soft elbows. Lift. Again, everything is soft and relaxed. My neck is soft. My neck is soft. Hands are powerful and strong. And then slowly start to lengthen. Video's coming up. I'll show how much of a difference this makes when we're doing stuff like side plank, which for most of us, we do side plank. It becomes this kind of fight hanging on for dear life while we do our best to anchor through the index finger trying to keep our shoulders healthy trying to stay up uh, the alternative would be pissy form index finger web soft elbow big full ribs keep that guess what neck is relaxed power in the arm i can use my fingers if i need to i can be here for a while let me know if you have any questions enjoy your superhero hands